So exercise Havoc Drop is part of the Havoc series of exercises uh, which are designed to test the abilities and proficiencies of uh, combat controllers to conduct uh, a number of uh, core air power roles in support of the Joint Force. Specifically, uh, Havoc Drop is a parachute uh, continuation uh, activity uh, and it is designed to um, test combat controllers in their ability to insert uh, via parachute as a team into unfamiliar drop zones. Uh, for this uh, um, iteration of Havoc Drop, we've deployed to uh, Wagga. Uh, we've used Wagga because uh, it's an unfamiliar area to many of the uh, combat controllers. Um, it provides a number of drop zones um, across different terrain and provides different planning uh, considerations uh, for, the, for the teams. Uh, this exercise was supported by uh, C-130s from 37 Squadron uh, as well as uh, 176 Air Dispatch Squadron from the Army. Uh, both units provided um, some, um, some valuable professional support uh, to allow this exercise to be, uh, to be a success. Um, during the activity, our combat controllers have um, exited the aircraft from between 8,000 and 10,000 feet, uh, utilising both uh, military freefall and static line uh, parachute techniques. Uh, once out of the aircraft, they will form up uh, under canopy in the air uh, and then they will glide to the target um, and land on the drop zone in, uh, in close proximity. Uh, from there, um, they will then uh, carry out a number of air power roles. Uh, for combat controllers, they may be required uh, to uh, support the Joint Force uh, in a number of different mission sets, uh, ranging from uh, humanitarian assistance and disaster relief uh, right through to uh, controlling close air support.